Hey everybody. Welcome to Cooking with Mo and Deb. I'm Mo. And I'm Deb. <laughs> We're about to fix some supper tonight and it's Mexican night. I love Mexican I food. Do I it's one of my favorite things to have. Mine well, too. I have so many favorites. I, I know, know but... <laughs> everything's our favorite, but this really is our favorite uh, Mexican food. So um, tonight we're going to try something we haven't Ooh, tried before. That looks different. It's a chili relleno casserole. Chili relleno. When um, the first time I ordered that at a Mexican restaurant, y'all, I said, I want a chili relleno. That's what I would have said. I, I was questioning in my mind, is that really how you yeah, say that word? It's not. <laughs> So, my daughters were in Spanish class at the time, and they were, like, so embarrassed. They were livid. Their, their mother didn't know how to pronounce relleno. So, anyway. Well, what is relleno? Re so relleno. That. Is a poblano is that, pepper? Is yes, that what that is? it's a poblano pepper, y'all. See that? It's a That's pepper. a giant pepper. We've got four of them. I got these at the Publix. But these are some nice peppers, y'all. Daryl asked me if they grow them around here, and I said, I guess. I mean, probably. Uh, probably, yeah. We've never grown them. No. Um, but anyway, the first thing we're going to do for this casserole, I've got some avocado oil, because y'all, you know, we, we said that to was a healthy, to Good. healthy mm -hmm. oil to use. And I'm just going to drizzle some on each one. See, that was more than a drizzle. That'll be all right. Uh, I'm going to give it a bath. That's what all I'm over. You're going to. I'm going to just put them all over. And what we're going to do is we're going to roast these in the oven. Oh. So I've got my oven on. 425. 425. And we're going to roast these for about 20 minutes. So roasted poblano peppers. Sounds good. I've never made anything like this. I'm very excited. It's going to be exciting. Yes. Because I haven't made it either. <laughs> So, we're going to roast these peppers, and we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, we have got our poblano peppers out of the oven. They have been roasted. See that? They're kind of charred Looking on good. both sides. And the um, instructions on the recipe say to cut off the stems. So, yeah, go ahead and cut off the stems. And it says to peel them. And when you... it. When it cools enough to handle, there is a little skin to peel off. I don't know if you call it skin or not, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's a skin. just a little edge. So just the... peel off the skin. See, that one's coming off easy. Really easy. We struggled with the last one. We we tried to peel, but you peel off that thin. It's a very thin layer. Layer. You can kind of even feel it whenever you're, mm -hmm. you can just grab it with your fingers and now start it, peeling it off. Right. Inside, you've got some seeds like that. So we're gonna take those out. We don't want those. And remove that little seed membrane as well. Ooh. All right, and I'm just gonna lay this flat into my cooking dish that I have sprayed with cooking spray. Cooking oil. So I, I'm putting it into a nine by 13 casserole dish. So, and then after we get this done, we have a filling to mix up that we put in on mm -hmm. the papers, right? Right. So we'll finish peeling these babies. And we'll be back. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we've got our peppers peeled. A single layer. Laid a single layer out in the bacon dish. And now Deb's got some cheese grated up there. So we're going to put about half that cheese. And what kind of cheese is this? Monterey Jack. Monterey. All right, I still have a little to grate, okay. so. All right. If you just keep grating. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this next layer of peppers. So we had four large poblano, I love to say that. Poblano. Poblano peppers. Four large ones. Have y'all ever had chili relleno at the Mexican restaurants? They stuff them with, I think it's like, ground beef that's really, really finely ground. And um, they're really good. They're covered in this Monterey Jack cheese. Okay, Deb, I think, let me read the instructions real quick. Yes, we finish off with the cheese. More cheese? More cheese, please. All right. 
So we're gonna put that cheese on top of this. Now we've got an egg mixture that we're going to mix up. Yummy. There's all the cheese, okay? Hey, okay, nice. So we've got a row of peppers, a row of cheese, a row of peppers, and a row of cheese. Next, then I need four eggs, okay? Hey, did you see Missy today on her show? She said, let me show you all how to crack an egg with one hand. <laughs> and she did it. You want me to try it? I've done it. Okay, I don't, I've never tried it because- You I, gotta get a good, yeah, get a good crack. Do. Okay, get a good, <laughs> Okay, get a good you crack. Get a good crack. All right, get a good crack. And Haven't done you, it in a while. See if so. you can do it with one hand, Deb. Let's see if I can. And Josh used, is the one who showed me how to do it, and there it goes. <gasps> Look at you. And, and there's, there's no, no, no peeling. Yay. Good job. I'm just going to do it the traditional <laughs> way using two hands because I don't trust myself. And do you know sometimes these store bought eggs, the shells are really fragile. And there is like something to crumble, crack crumble. your egg on the counter rather than on your bowl, too. What is that? Um, it, it gets a better crack on the counter that helps so. you to open it better. I would think so. Okay, so there's four eggs mixed in. Here's your towel. I'm looking for a whisker. Here's one. A whisker? A whisker. We need a whisker. All right. Then what do we put in next, Deb? Um, let's see, how about a half a cup of skim milk, it said, but I've got 1%, so we're going to use that. Half a cup of milk. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. Half a cup of milk. We need one third cup all purpose flour. Got that right there. All right, there it goes. We need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a Not teaspoon. baking soda. Oh, the flour's on the sides here. Hold on. Take control of this. <laughs> Spatula or anything? I think I'm good. Got it. I think we're gonna get it. All right. Okay. Now, all powder. the ingredients except for one are half a teaspoon. So. Okay. All right. So half a teaspoon of paprika. Paprika. Half a teaspoon of chili powder. Salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And a fourth of pepper. A fourth of pepper. Fourth of a teaspoon. You can make it a happy. Happy fourth? Yep. Yeah. Happy fourth. All right. So mixing it all up together, y'all. Now we're going to pour. It says pour evenly over, over the top of the peppers. Okay. down just a shade. I do want that spatula you yeah. mentioned a minute ago. Right. I get it. And we can see good when we pour this mixture over. Oh, it smells good. That It does, doesn't it? I don't know which one I smell. I smell all of it. it all of good. it. Well, when we were roasting the peppers, they smelled really good. All right, y'all. Okay, here we go. Pouring it evenly, hopefully, over. So we're going to put this back in the oven, right? Right. For 30 minutes, we're going to cook it at 350. And it says to cook it until the eggs are puffed up, the edges are golden, and the center is completely set. Okay. So here it is, y'all. Chili relleno casserole. We'll be back when it's finished. Well, guess what? What? Our chili relleno is ready. <laughs> Chili Rayano casserole is ready, y'all. No, it's hot. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Looky here, y'all. Look at that yumminess and goodness. Nice. 
and it smells so good. And we're gonna have salsa and chips with it, right? We are. So, I don't wanna make oh, yeah. it I didn't like that. <laughs> okay, so we've got our little spatula here, good to go. And this is the true test here. We're gonna do a taste test. Also on the side, because we can. This is our homemade salsa, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Deb's got us a fork. Get over here, Deb, when you see your smiling face. That looks really good. It does. I'm excited. Peppers are really tender, because you cut. I want some salsa with my chili. chili. Well, they know. Right. <laughs> Rihanna. Rihanna, I forget. I know, those owls are silent. <laughs> I can't believe it. Mm. Nice. Boy. Whoa. Spicy. It is a little spicy, but it's okay. Good. The spicy girls. You're going to like it. They're spicy. Let me have another bite. I like those peppers. Those are good. Is this, how, is this how it is when you buy it at the restaurant? Well, when you buy a chili relleno at the restaurant, it's stuffed with ground beef. Oh, that's right. Okay. And cheese. So, we don't have ground beef in this, but yummy. Mmm. What? This is a good recipe, y'all. Y'all be sure to give it a try. You will love it. I'd say it's a keeper. Yeah. So, when the Mexican night comes around at your house the next time, Make this chili rellano casserole. Bye, y'all.